It's raining heavily, but welcome back. It's been roughly four months, but we are back for some scintillating, fully wet weather racing here to brand new track in Auckland, in New Zealand, as the native Maori call it our Aotearoa. This time for the New Zealander Grand Prix. In fact, here the Sky Tower, located in Auckland, is the tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere, with a staggering total height of 327 metres, 176 feet, also making it the 27th tallest tower in the world. New Zealand also has a fairly high sheep to people ratio, 6 to 1, but unfortunately that has been decreasing as in 1982, there were 22 sheep per person. Seven turns here out of this very flat and fairly short circuit right to the outskirts of Auckland. As you can see, no elevation whatsoever, but that won't sap away any energy and a single DRS straight. The windy turn 5 took a sharp left-hander and has turned 6. Is the tyre compounds C2, C3, and C4 for hards, mediums, and softs, respectively? An incredible performance from Arthur Rosso nets them a uh, 1 2 for the work taking his first pole position. His rookie teammate Seth lining alongside him in second place. We hope they can make it today. Third place goes to Arsan from Arthur Juliet. Alongside him, just from Meridian, Justin Quinn's Pierre lines up in fifth, with Red Bull's Kleber, Blue Bull's Kleber in sixth. Hassan's teammate, Mythic, net a respectable seventh position. Maranti Moto in eighth, Ferrara. Teammate, the season one champion, Trexton, finds himself in a lonely ninth, with an equally disappointed Billy in tenth for our Ben. A huge crash towards the end of Q3, but the Tyrol in 11th for Meridian, following a 5th place for its penalty. Alongside him is Max in the Blue Ball. His teammate Snack finds himself in 13th following engine problems in Holbein. He wins hard on in 14th. Then in 15th with his teammate Hammond in 16th. And at the back, Luke Grassley with Part of five for Stevens in 17th and 18th, respectively. 